Hello everyone, this is Hank. Um, today I'm going to talk about the histogram in Adobe Camera Raw. And, and I'm also going to discuss the light panel because histogram and the light panels are hand in hand. They, um, they intertwine together pretty well as I will show you. Okay, so uh, first of all, the histogram is on the upper right, okay? You look at it, it has um, a bunch of curves, and the curves ha have colors. And if, if you look carefully, there's a, essentially three curves. Okay, one is red, one is green, and one is blue, uh, which represent a red, green, blue color space that we all use in Photoshop. Okay, now um, sometimes I, I can see some white in here. And and the, the white represents that when the red, the green, and the blue intersect at a certain point, okay, it share the common point, then this will show up in white, okay, because they are all the same, all three of them. Okay, so now, if you have red coincide with green, guess what color? Yellow, right? So it will show up at yellow of the two color, red and green intersect. And then, um, when the red and the blue intersect, then, then you have magenta, okay? And if you have the green and the blue intersect, and then you have cyan. So you see a sprinkle of color, and that's what those color mean, right? Okay. Um, now, when I have the cursor over at the photo, okay, there is, you see the R206, the, the G206, and the B209. That is the color and the intensity that exists where I'm pointing the, the the cursor. Okay, so if I move to this cursor, you can see that I'm putting on something green. You would expect the green to be higher. And yes, the green is higher, but it is, so is the blue. Okay, so this is helpful in telling you where I'm pointing. If I'm pointing here, I'll get almost white, which is, yeah, Red, green, blue, all 255. Pure white right there. That means I'm clipping, right? How do I know that I'm clipping? Okay, if you look at the two-dimensional two pyramid here, or up here, or whatever you like to call it. Okay, normally they would be displayed in black if everything's okay. The fact that they are displayed in white, that means it tells me that both the blacks, which is the left one, and the whites, which is the right one, are clipped. That means I have information pure white and information pure black in my picture. Okay. So now if you're saying that, wow, that is a pretty subtle way of warning me with just two tiny little... Uh, triangles, pyramids. Actually, you can click on it and then it will show you on the picture. It will show you red for the the white. And if you click on the left hand one, if there's clipping, it shows you in blue. Okay? So, and usually I prefer to turn them on because I, I want to see because when I'm adjusting, I would occasionally, you know, clip cause of clipping because I'm like brightening it too much or darkening it too much. I get the clipping on the black end of it. So it's useful to turn these things on. And you turn them on by clicking these things. Okay. Now you look, if you hover over here, you see a, a faint gray band that showed up. See? And when the, the band show up, down below, it, it tells me shadow zero, right? I move over here, it said exposure zero. What does that mean? Uh, you move over here, highlight zero. And 
white's zero. What does it mean? So now, if you look at the light panel, okay, light panel, in the middle it has exposure, and exposure show right here. And the value is also zero. So if, if you haven't guessed, exposure zero there and the exposure in the light panel is identical. They are tied together. They are one of the same. Okay, and go over here, highlights, right? We have highlights down here. So they all tied. Everything is tied except for contrast. There's no contrast in here, right? But anything else can be soft like that. Now, in this example, I have the highlights blown out and the shadows too dark, okay? Now, if I change the white and I change the black, okay, I could improve it, right? Yes, I could, but it usually don't affect the entire picture that much compared to the highlights and the shadows. So when we edit our photos, okay, the first thing we want to do is to adjust the highlights and the shadow and then the exposure and then whites and black at the end of the edit. Okay. And and I find that you know uh workflow steps uh, very helpful for for me. So let me kind of show you. You can change it here, right? Because the highlight is just too 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 bright. So I want to decrease the highlight. Okay. So immediately I already improved significantly by just pulling highlight. I'm no longer clipping on the white channel on the white side. Okay. So that is how you would do it. You you don't really want to go all the way over because you know things are non-linear at the edges and they usually give you more more side effects than uh, it's worth. So I normally don't do a full range, but I do pretty close to the edge. Okay. So the, so I do the highlight and now I'm going to do the shadow because I got so many things dark. I want to turn the shadow to the right to make it brighter, right? So I'll pull the shadow to something I feel comfortable with. And here, and I'm still burning. The color changed. That means it, it, it's not completely blown anymore, but it still gets some clipping. So at this point, right, I could... Turn on the exposure if I want, but then I have the I have the danger of messing up the uh, the clipping. So normally I just leave exposure alone. Okay, so now I'm going to do the black, right? So I'm gonna bring the black over to the right, right there until it. This one here is right off the edge, so I don't even need to change the white here. So immediately, I have adjusted it. But, okay, this is what I haven't shown you. It's like you can adjust all of these things except contrast up here too. Okay, so like say, let me bring it back. Bring the, the, the black back to where it was. Somewhere like that. So I had something. Okay, well, oh, I might as well show you how to reset these things, right? If you want to reset the entire thing on the light panel or any panel for that matter, you hold down the alternate key and this thing turn into reset light and all you have to do is click on it and then you reset everything. 
Okay. Now, if I have an individual and I want to reset it, all I have to do is double click on it. Okay, so, so those are the methods that you reset these things quickly. Now, now that I'm reset, I want to change these things that I did before by doing it on the histogram. Right? Again, I will do the shadow first. Actually, before I, I did the highlights, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to do the shadow. Okay, so I pull the shadow, but the more I pull it, it's not improving it to the point. Okay, so, so I would stop here, and then, okay, now I'm going to go to the, the highlights. Because I'm too bright, I'm going to pull it to the left to make it darker. Okay, so already um, I've recovered. Now, similarly, I can move the shadow up a little bit more, but I don't really want to peg it because things are nonlinear and at the edges um, you get a lot of side effects. So you don't really want to to pull it all the way, but okay. So I still got some clipping problem. the The pink is better than the white, right? You want the black. So at this point, you are going to bring the blacks to the right, okay? Until the sting go. Now, some people refuse to change the black to um, pass zero, but personally, I, I don't think there's any problem with it at all. The key thing is the histogram has to look good. And and you see, this thing look good. Your photo looks good. Okay? See, before, after. It, it looks in, incredibly better. Okay? No more clipping, nothing. Okay, so um, so at this point, okay, I think we are basically done with the uh, histogram. I can't think of anything else that we need to talk about. Okay, so uh, with that, I would like to thank you very much for your attention and stay with me till the end. Um, if you don't mind, please give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please give me a subscription. It is much appreciated. Thank you and have a good one.